Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we're bringing you an unboxing of the Age of Legends and Last Night campaigns, which are bonus content, or I should, I should say stretch goal content for Tainted Grail. Now Tainted Grail, one of my favorite games of all time. Very, very excited to get into these, uh, these campaign expansions here, or expansion campaigns. This supposedly triples the content of the base game, so that's pretty amazing. The base game, I've already spent 50 plus hours playing it. Excited to see what we've got here. Before we get down to the game topper and open up this expansion, I wanna mention our sponsor, Board Game Code. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. Board Game Code makes it very easy to build out your collection. If you're just looking to buy more games, you can check out their stock. They've got a lot of great stuff over there to choose from. But if you're looking to trim down your stock, they make that easy too. You can sell games to them. Really easy to use system over on their website. Uh, for selling games and then if you want to trade games with them which is a really cool feature you basically if you have a board game geek account you set up a trade list what what you want in trade what you have for trade and then you go over to their website and submit your board game geek username they will look at your uh, trade list that you set up on Board Game Geek. They'll compare it to their stock. They'll then build a custom trade list for you right there on their website, complete with the values that they assign to each type of game. You click on the values, or, or you click on the games, make sure the values are comparable, submit the list, and within a day, you usually have a answer, <coughs> excuse me, an answer as to whether or not that trade is going to work. So be sure to uh, go check them out. If you do check them out, click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the game topper. We're going to open up the Age of Legends and Last Night expansion. Okay, here we go. We've got Tainted Grail. These are the stretch goals, Age of Legends, and the Last Night campaign. So let's flip this over real quick. Pretty heavy box. Looks like we've got a ton of minis in here. 30 chapters. Wow. Okay, two to three hours each. Just absolutely. I think this by itself triples the content from the base game. And that's not even a men mentioning Echoes of the Past and Red Death, which I have both of those as well. Be sure to check those unboxing videos out too. So let's get into this. All right, so here we go. We've got save sheet here. This one for Age of Legends with all of its statuses. And the last night for all of its statuses. Here we've got a letter for Neom, which is interesting because pretty sure I had that in the first game or I maybe not. Neom, I have Neom, so not sure. There's Sloan. So these are new characters. Dagon, Mabbed, and Fuel. What? Here we go. That's weird. And then Neom. Oh, maybe it depends on which... Which... Um, that's what it is. It must be dependent on... Like it's specific to the different campaigns. So since Neom can play in any of them... Then she has letters for those campaigns. And so this one. All right, so. Thibault. Kaolin. Duana. And Nazar. All right, so let's see. So here we go. These look like our new characters. Some really cool looking stuff in here. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. All right, so this is Dagon. Warming stew is his special ability. Pay one food, a chosen party member loses two exposure. Exposure, that's new. Short breath, each time you play a combat or diplomacy card after the first one during your activation, discard a card from the top of your deck. Okay. Uh, let's look here. We've got uh, Thibault. Self-sacrifice only if Thibault is not going insane. If an encounter... If an encounter, or in an encounter, excuse me, prevent all damage received by a character in the same location, including Thibault, Thibault gains one insanity for every point of 
damage prevented this way. Suffering. When resting in a location without a minier or sanctuary, Thibault has to choose whether he wants to restore no health or lose no insanity. Sloan. Straining Strike. Once per encounter. In combat, pay one energy, discard one card. The next card does not need to connect with the lightning bolt. Fragile Pride. Gain two insanity when you escape from an encounter. Kaolin. Wolf Rider. Nice. Two energy. Kaolin can travel through any number of locations without her party members. Entering a location with a lightning bolt, which is a, like an instant encounter, stops this action. Troublesome Companion. Kaolin loses one energy or pays one food when she enters a location with a settlement. Nazar. Master Explorer. Uh, for a second, I thought I said Master Exploder. Once per exploration, during exploration, whenever the journal asks for the value of one of your attributes, you may pay one energy to treat the attribute as one higher. Foreign, that's that, I like that a lot. Foreigner, whenever Nazar is in a diplomatic encounter, move the affinity marker one slot down at the start of the encounter. Fuel, stalk once per day. One energy, pay one food to draw one gray, one green, and one purple encounter and toss a dial. Grail, you may choose which encounter to resolve and discard the others. Or Skull, resolve the encounters with the highest value, the encounter with the highest value, and discard the others. Weird Blood, you can't gain health or lose insanity when resting in a location with a Minier. Duana, empowering ritual. At the start of the day, if Duana is not at maximum insanity, she may gain two insanity to gain one energy or one health. Tormenting presence. When resting, if your insanity is higher than your health, spend one magic or one wealth or lose one health. Uh, stories await once per day. Zero energy, travel or explore for free. That's cool. Uh, restless. At the end of the day, place a large marker on your location. If there's already a large marker here, gain two insanity instead. Remove large markers from all other locations. Whoa, look at that cover. So, here's the Age of Legends Exploration Journal. We're not going to dig too deep into this, but I do want to open it. All right, so here we go. Open it up. So this, I believe, is going to also have instructions for the new campaign. So yeah, you can see right here, introduction, special rules, importing your game. Character setup, world setup, saving the game, Age of Legends story mode, Age of Legends challenge mode, and then we move into the actual. Oh, that's interesting now. A Red Death, I opened that one first. See, this one starts at 301. So the first, the base game, the first location was 101. This one, I'm, this is probably the first, the first uh, area is 301. So if this is 201, then I'm guessing they're telling you that's the order to play the campaigns in. See, this is 400 years have passed since the disappearance of the one true king. Special rules, setting up the last night, importing your game. Fall of Avalon. Yeah, okay. So you're going to import from Fall of Avalon. Well, here's Age of Legends there. Interesting. Character setup, world setup, last night story mode, last night challenge mode, locations. I bet the order is last night, Age of Legends, Red Death. But I'll double check that. They did release uh, something online showing you what they recommended. Now, I'm not going to go into all of these. Looks like here's reference card for the pack donkey. Let's see here. Chapter chapter one setup. All right, so definitely not gonna open up all these, but let's see. Here's some new encounters, and you can see here's some. So like, wait, let's look back at this one real quick. Uh, which one was it? This one, so this is one of Callan's cards. Looks like a combat card, Intimidating Growl. I think, yeah, this should be combat. Uh, oh wait, no, no, this is Diplomacy. Uh, so when she plays it, gain one uh, up. So you're gonna go up one on the on the 
track and lose one rep for each uh, aggressive or each, I can't remember what that one is, and then ignore all insanity gains on the uh, enemy's turn. All right, so then this one, we've got Crazed Settler. Uh, I'm not sure who this is for. We have to look into it and figure out. Oh, you know what? Some of these, I bet you're able to... Man, I wonder if you're able to deck build. Because, yeah, see. Interesting. Anyway, uh, let's see. So this, I don't know what that symbol is. That's new. This, oh, and this actually, I'm sorry. This is actually going to be a... Um, this is an encounter. Yeah, this is an encounter. So, but it's the Crazy Settler. So, and if they have zero to one uh, damage done to them, then they'll deal two damage and gain, and then the, you know, you'll gain one insanity. If you've dealt two to four damage to them, they'll deal one damage and you'll gain two insanity. If you've dealt five to six damage, then lose three of the damage tokens and then gain two insanity. Wow. And then opportunity attack, you lose one of the damage tokens and, Get rid of the last card you played. Here we've got another one for Callan. Indirect Fire. This is definitely a, a combat card. Callan can play this card outside of her activation. That's interesting. Okay, let's see. This is for Dagon. This is a uh, diplomatic card and has the delay. It's, what's this called? Stubbornness. So one delay and then the track goes up. And if you end up destroying this card, the track goes up. And then we have some more event cards here. Don't want to look at those. Dagon, Crushing Embrace. So combat card. Whoa, that one requires three aggressiveness or three of whatever that one is again. I can't remember. Um, lose two health instead of the enemy attack. Okay. And you can see there, you got a times three right there, which is pretty awesome. Beggars. So here's another encounter, level one encounter. Zero to three damage on them. They deal one damage and lose one of the damage tokens. Four to five damage on them, lose two food, and they run away. The opportunity attack, gain one rep, lose two food, run away. Okay. And down here, these... Or, oh, secret cards. Sorry about that. I'm not going to look at those. And then here we've got the reference cards. We've got the, uh, what are those called? Location cards. And Age of Legends help card and location. And then let's look at these minis. Let's see if we can match them up. So, Mabbed. Should be this one here. Kind of a bard of some kind. And then Duana. Is it this one? I think so. And here for fuel, that would be this one. Well, that's a cool mini. Look at this. And Nazar. Right here. Oh, this is cool. They've got him with his scroll open. I definitely think I want to choose this guy as one of my... I'll play with two characters when I play, and I'm pretty positive Nazar's going to be one of them. Uh, Kowlin with a wolf rider. Here she is. That wolf looks pretty cool. Sloan. The bolt.
and Dagon. From the looks of him, this guy might be my second guy, but I'll have to kind of take a little deeper dive into their abilities and everything. Oh, and then the pack donkey. Not sure how you get the pack donkey, but there's the pack donkey. And he is loaded down. So there you go, that's everything that comes in the box and there is a ton of stuff in this box. Very excited to integrate this into the Tainted Grail system and see exactly how it all works, what all we can do with it, uh, and what the story is. So be sure to come back and check out. We're gonna have a gameplay. Um, I'm trying to get one gameplay of each of the campaigns, uh, Age of Legends, Last Night, and then Red Death. If you haven't seen Red Death, be sure to check out that unboxing as well. And until next time, if you're bored online, board offline.